Hey guys, this video is gonna be a quick shop tour. This is where I hang out and make lots of cool stuff. There is, um, there's lots of cool toys to play with in here. When we first got this, it was just bare studs. My wife and I insulated it and drywalled it, painted it. And um, the overall dimension is 25 by 40. It's basically a four car garage. And I've got to replace this garage door soon. So let's start with the uh, with the lift, which is uh, which takes up a whole bunch of space in, in the middle of the shop here. This is a two post rotary lift, uh, 9,000 pounds. I got it a few years ago off Craigslist for 1,200 bucks, and I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, it's been really handy for working on cars. Over here, I've got a microwave and a fridge and some snacks. And uh, down there, I've got lots of organized storage, semi-organized maybe. Um, and this is the lathe that I use. It's a little machine shop lathe. Uh, this is the 16 inch um, version. And I was a little hesitant to buy this because I wasn't sure that I would actually need it. Um, I thought, well, anything I can do on a lathe, I could do on the on a CNC mill. But um, the amount of setup it takes to do something on a mill that I can just whip out real quick here, uh, is the, the time difference is huge. So this is really handy just to whip out a quick uh, one a single operation. Over here is my mill. It is a TIG. Um, I bought it as a C, as a computer ready or a CNC ready. I forget which one, what their terminology is, but uh, I got it with the hand cranks and they give you the motor mounts. And uh, this is the bigger version. It's uh, got a, cro a longer cross slide. And I ran it as a manual mill for a little bit and then I, I threw the motors on um, and the, the monitors up there that, that uh, tells you what's going on. It's, um, and I'm using a garble shield and chili pepper and it's, uh, it's very basic, but it works really well. Uh, you don't have to, if, if you're doing really high, high speed cutting, then maybe you would take, uh, have some benefit to going with a better controller. But uh, for what I'm doing, this is just fine. I've got a tiny G controller that I still haven't hooked up because, um, I, I see no reason to yet. So that's, uh, that's the mill. Uh, if you guys want to see, uh, more about the mill, then let me know and I, I can do another video on on just that. This is a cylinder head I've got that uh, I need to take apart. Uh, this is S52 cylinder head. It's from a uh, E36 M3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these camshafts out, I'm going to take the lifters out, and then I'm going to measure, draw, and then mill a tool that will let you take the valve springs out while the cylinder head is still in the car. Um, there are a couple getaways where you can do it right now, but I would prefer to have a uh, a properly fitting tool so that will be an upcoming project uh, over here is my kind of my gunsmithing and um, reloading bench I've got lots of uh, lots of stuff to work on here um, I've got two presses this one is a a Lee progressive and I got it for 75 bucks it was missing some parts and uh, I was able to rebuild it all and it works really well it's uh, we can really pump out nine millimeter I'm gonna try it on two two three later this is the uh, this is the press that I started with. It is a Lee Classic turret, and it, it is a really good one for beginners because you can run it as a single stage or a turret press. And so if you mess up something, it's really easy to take just the one case out, back it up a step, or whatever you need to do. Over here, I've got a workstation where I work from home, or uh, I do some sort of CAD work. I'll, I'll do it on this this uh, workstation. I've got this one over here too, which. Um, it's handy for you know YouTube instructional videos, or if I've got my hands dirty, I will uh, be using this keyboard and mouse. So it's got lots of crap on it right now. It's got some uh, a case that I took apart because I forgot, either forgot to or I lost the notes on what the load was, so I was able to figure it out by pulling the bullet. So yeah, that's uh, that's the fun stuff over here. I've got a uh, power cage which I got also off Craigslist for 300 bucks. Craigslist is pretty awesome. Um, I was pretty excited for this because this is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, even comes with the the cable thing over here in the back, and um, it came with the weights too. So pretty much everything you see was 300 bucks. The cage, the bar. Uh, there's a there's a preacher bar. There's the the weight rack, the weights, and the the cable setup. And what I like about this is on the cable setup, instead of having a stack of plates, um, they give you this this bar and a little dark back here, um, and you just throw your weights on there. So instead of having two sets of weights, you just need the one. Over here, 
I've got kind of a woodworking area or if I'm working on something dirty like I like this engine, uh, I'll work on it on this workbench. My drill press over here is set up for trimming brass. Um, this is a RCBS uh, brass prep deal. Um, I've got a little piece of plastic water bottle around it to kind of contain the brass shavings. But what's cool about this is you can, um, you can trim chamfer and deburr in one pass. Um, and so I use, the, I use the stop on the drill press to set the depth. And this works really well because I only need to handle the brass once to trim it, chamfer, and deburr it. This, uh, this lumber rack has been pretty nice. Um, I should probably do something with all, all this wood. And then up here I've got this heater I put in just last winter and it is pretty nice. Um, it, uh, it doesn't look very big, though you can get much bigger ones, but this does, uh, this does a really good job of heating up the entire shop in the winter. This is the workbench that, my, uh, that I built for my wife. She does little woodworking projects and we just got her some new screwdrivers because the, uh, the Free Harbor Freight ones I got her were, uh, did not hold up very well. And over here I've got my air compressor and, and freezer. And this is something that you guys should uh, look into if you need more storage. Uh, there's these racks you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below, but they, uh, for household goods or camping goods, seasonal stuff, um, it's a good way to get stuff off the ground. So yeah, that's it uh, for this video. That's my shop. Um, if you want to know anything more about anything else uh, that you saw in here, let me know and I'll make a video on that. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.